unfolds. People are watching here at home. Arshe Simon is in the newsroom. She spoke to two families tonight. Yeah, they have family and friends in Ukraine and are staying in constant communication to make sure they are safe. Shay, how are they feeling tonight? Well, tonight they are extremely emotional. I talked to two men who are from Ukraine and still have loved ones there. Right now they are just hoping that better days are ahead. Missile strikes in Ukraine's capital city as people all over the world pray for peace, including people right here in the Midlands. And, um, I saw my wife, she was crying, and um, I asked her what happened, and she, that's what she said, uh, Ukrainian uh, uh, getting, um, start getting um, missiles and rockets, uh, all large, big cities. Vasil Babich and his family live in Colombia, but Ukraine is home. Um, us, our sisters, nephews, uh, all of our friends, relatives, cousins, everybody in Ukraine. 14 years ago today, Babich came to America for peace and opportunities. Now his family and friends back home are in danger. It's just really a horrible time, uh, really hard time for everybody, um, especially for the people who's in Ukraine. And I'm just uh, telling them, um, keep the peace uh, and don't panic. Uh, also be united and uh, support each other. People in the Midlands also supporting each other. Yuroslav Bazeli is also from Ukraine. He says Ukraine and Russia have been at odds for eight years, but many hope the conflict would never get to this point. In a way, for them, it's just an extra piece of territory. And then the people they are waging war against, it's probably much, much more. I asked how people here who are watching and seeing all of this devastation, how we can help. And they say prayers, of course, and both say that they are hoping that other countries will intervene as that death toll continues to rise tonight. In the newsroom, Shay Simon, Watch Fox News, Local First.